All right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to test if bleeding actually matters for walleye or not. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Let's find an adventure. I did the one on bass. If you haven't watched that, it's either up here or up here. I can't remember which way it goes. We're going to try walleye because to me, walleye are the best tasting fish anyways. Never bled a fish before until that bass video. Since then, I've been bleeding walleye, but I haven't done the comparison. So what we're going to do, we have two like 15 and a half inch walleye, both caught today out of the Detroit River. I bled one, as you can see, its throat's cut. This one, the throat is not cut. I did not bleed this fish. So we're going to clean them. We're going to test to see how clean the cleaning is, like last time. And then we're going to do a blind test taste and see which one tastes better and see if we get the same results as we did with the bass. So I'm gonna start, uh, let's start with the blood walleye. I'm gonna start here. So as you can see, the meat is white. There's some blood right here along the ribs, but I'm literally getting into its guts. But you see, there's no blood. There's no blood pouring on the table. So let me... Try the other side. Same thing, pretty much clean meat. There is a little bit of blood spot here. I don't know why the blood congregated right there, but. Need a grocery bag, forgot that. All right, so now we're gonna clean the not blood. So as you can see, nothing's cut. So as you can see, bleeding the fish does make a huge difference in the clean, the mess. I know in the bass video, there was a lot of comments like, you got to be kidding me. It's not that big of a difference. Acting like I poured blood on the table or something. But you can see right here, huge difference. So this one's going to go in the not blood pile. Not blood? Blood. So I think all the blood leaked on the other side, but you can still see pretty blood all through the like spine area above the ribs. All right, so cleaning the fish. Even though now I'm using this bubble blade and I'm cutting through the ribs and the guts get exposed, it's a lot cleaner if you bleed your fish. So I don't know how you don't believe that. If you don't believe it, try it. I'm telling you, it, it's night and day. So what I want to do is I want to get this cleaned up. I got other fish I got to clean that's not part of this video. And then... We're going to do a blind taste test this time because last time people said the results were faked or could have been faked because we knew which one was what. 
So what I'm gonna do is cook them both, put them on identical paper plates with identical paper towels, mark the paper plate on the bottom or something, I gotta figure this out still, and then have somebody switch them around. And then me, my wife, and possibly my father will be part of the taste test. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we have the blood walleye. The non-blood walleye. All this is same bowls, same water. We're gonna put salt in it this time. We're getting cornmeal and vegetable oil. So let's see what happens here. All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but here's the not blood fish. Right, this is the blood fish. This is the not blood fish. Cooked the same way, same oil. Same yellow cornmeal, different bags just in case, and lightly salted afterwards. So let's do the taste test. So we have the two different kinds here. Dad's gonna be the first taste tester. He's gonna taste, they don't know which one's which. So, go ahead. Drax is going to be panting in the video because he likes to do that. Just to me, it tastes like it always does. He's in deep thought. I'm trying to taste something different. I'm not tasting anything different. <laughs> oh, you're not tasting nothing different. I really can't, as far as the taste was. Is it two different kind of fish? No, it's the same fish. We got our second taste tester here. You take two off the same plate. Okay. I bet that one's blood. Can't tell the difference with the wallet. Shit. Don't be inspecting the meat now. What plate did that one come off of? This one. So you're taking another piece off the same plate? No, I set them both down. Okay. This one's not blood. So which one tastes better? Which plate? That one. That one. That one. Right. I think. I don't know. Alright, so I know which plate's which, so you're gonna have to just hand me two similar sized pieces of fish. Probably hear my dog under the table eating scraps. She's taste testing. And dying. Now she's shook. Did you alright down there?
It's so, real similar. Do you hear her snorting? <laughs> oh yeah, I hear the dog. With the bass, it was so evident which one was blood. It was like one was really fishy tasting and the other one wasn't. Well, walleye is the best eating fish to me and that's why I wanted to. I'll tell you this one's better. You remember which one's which? That's the opposite plate that I picked. Okay. So, it's not blood. That's blood. That's the one I picked. And I picked the not blood. And Dad doesn't know. Or it's the same. All right, so with walleye, I would say that it doesn't really matter as far as taste is concerned, at least not fried like this. Maybe next time we'll just bake it and try it. Um, bass, it was definitely evident which one was better. But I will say cleaning them, it's a lot better if you bleed them. So I think that's gonna wrap today's video. So if you like today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.